So tonight, mainly I want to focus on how, how you can get healed and then how you can keep it. Because the purpose of healing is not just the act of healing. The purpose of healing is so you can walk in divine health. It is so, so the purpose of healing is for health. Amen? If God, if God didn't want you healthy, he wouldn't heal you. So if God heals you, it's because he wants you healthy. Amen. And if he wants you healthy, then, and you're, if you're not healthy, then guess what? God wants to heal you. Amen. And that's the simplest thing. And so we want to look at that. So you can go in. Now there's, there's, I'm going to break this down a little bit. And I've never taught it this way before. So I was really curious about it because I was asking the Lord, what do you want to do tonight? Uh, actually, I actually asked him this yesterday. And uh, this just started kind of pouring out. And I'm trying to jot down the things. And uh, so we're, I'm just going to kind of follow along this because, like I said, I'd never done it exactly this way before. The end result's going to be the same. Y'all going to get healed. Okay. That, that's, it, the, the delivery is always one thing. But, amen. So because God is faithful to his word and all he's looking. Actually, God is more eager to give us what we need than we are even to ask him for it. And if we can ever realize that, it'll make us a lot more eager to ask and to receive it. Yes. Amen? Amen? But Ephesians 3.20 says that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can even ask or think according to the power that works in us. Well, the power that works in us is the Holy Spirit. And so he can do exceeding abundantly above. Now, not, not just above what we can ask or think. Exceeding abundantly above. Do you get that? Not, not just right over the brim there. But we're talking not even in the same category. I mean, it's out there. I mean, what God can do. And think about this. If he can do exceeding abundantly above all we can ask or think. Now think about this. Just take a moment and think about the biggest, most impossible thing you could ask God for. And if you can form it into words and if you could ask it and then think it, He's already beyond that. So, what, so as far as you can think or ask, he's beyond that. So what you're asking and thinking about isn't so unreasonable. Right? Because he's so far beyond that. Do you get, do you get that? As a matter of fact, if you limit him to just what you ask or think, then you are limiting him to a degree that he doesn't want to be limited. See, we, we've had this idea that if I'm going to pray, I've got to pray exactly specific and I got to say it this way and I got to do it this way and all this and that one verse Ephesians 3:20 says nope no matter how you ask no matter what you ask no, no matter what you're thinking God is already beyond that amen. Amen? amen and what is impossible for you you look at it and go well okay I'm going to think the impossible thing what what would be impossible to happen and when you hit that level of thinking the impossible God's already beyond that because nothing is impossible to him. Amen? Amen? 